Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to make a candida diet buckwheat breakfast porridge. So this porridge uses full fat coconut milk and cinnamon and full fat coconut milk is really rich in caprylic acid, which is a really strong antifungal and cinnamon is also a very strong antifungal. Uh, for the oil in this recipe, I'm also going to use some C8 MCT oil, which is also really rich in caprylic acid. So we got all the antifungal candida fighting things in this breakfast cereal. We're gonna make about six servings so that you can put it in individual containers and freeze it for throughout the week as you need breakfast. I find this really helpful when you're kind of busy and on the go, but you wanna to stick to your diet. So I really like using this Bob's Red Mill Creamy Buckwheat Hot Cereal. You can use just straight up buckwheat groats, but you will find they are a little bit more groaty and they're just kind of harder to chew and break down. So this stuff is really like, it's just broken up buckwheat groats essentially, but it just makes it a lot more smooth and creamy and more like a sort of porridgey breakfast cereal. Um, but you can use regular buckwheat groats as well. So whatever you can find, um, whatever you want to do. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to add four and a half cups of water into a pot on the stove. So I'm using my induction burner here just so that it's easier to show you guys how to make this, but obviously you're gonna be making it on your stove. So um, cooking times may vary depending on your stove, but I'll explain through it and uh, it'll all be good. So I apologize in advance for the sound. This guy is a little bit loud when it starts up. So I've added my four and a half cups of water. I turn it up to the highest setting and we're basically just gonna bring it to a boil, but I am gonna add, uh, so half a teaspoon of salt. And I'll just mix that in a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna wait until that comes to a boil. All right, so now our water's come to a boil. I'm going to add our one and a half cups of buckwheat cereal to the water. Um, this one I did measure out first in actual measuring cups because as you can see, uh, the measuring cups are slightly different than the liquid measuring cups. Uh, they are in ounces. So yeah, it'll come out to just below one and a half cups in one of these containers. All right, so I'm gonna add that in. And then at the same time, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of MCT oil as well. I find this just kind of helps it not to stick to the pan while it's boiling. And then I'm gonna leave my cinnamon, stevia and coconut milk until the end and I'll mix it all in once the cereal has cooked. So I'll give this a good stir here, make sure everything is all mixed in. And then I'm basically just gonna turn this down to about low, but somewhere between low and medium heat, just so that you get kind of like a nice simmer. And I'm just gonna keep stirring basically until it is cooked through. It takes about 10 minutes to cook, but yeah, you don't want it to stick. So just kind of keep stirring it every minute or two. All right, so I've been cooking this at a low simmer for about 10 minutes, uh, stirring as often as possible. Um, it's get it turning into a really nice sort of porridge-like consistency. Um, if you find at the end that it's starting to like stick a little bit to the pan, you can always turn it down right to low and just stir it a lot while it sort of cooks the remainder of the way. Um, sometimes at the end, once it's mostly cooked, it can just get a little hot on sort of that low medium temperature. So yeah, I think this is pretty good. I'm probably gonna turn this off now. Basically, it's gonna be a similar consistency to, um, you know, oatmeal or porridge, that kind of thing. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of what it looks like now. All right, so I'm gonna turn this off. All right, so now we're gonna add all the remaining ingredients. So I'm gonna add one can of full fat coconut milk. If you want, you can just scrape off like the, just the creamy coconut from the top if you don't wanna add a lot more liquid. But I'm just gonna throw the whole can in. It's got some of those amazing medium chain triglycerides, like I mentioned, rich in caprylic acid. So very powerful candida fighters. So I'm gonna pour that whole can in there. And then I'm also gonna add two teaspoons of cinnamon powder. Give that some delicious flavor. I find with the candida diet, cinnamon makes everything taste like it's sweet. Like it kind of tricks your brain into thinking you're eating something sweet, even though you're not. And then I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of stevia powder. 
For this, you can also use stevia liquid. So if you prefer using like stevia drops, those also work great too. You can start with a few drops and just go from there. All right, there we go. Now it's finally turned off. All right, put that in. All right, so now I'm just gonna give this all a mix. And the, whew, uh, the coconut cream will melt because of uh, the, the heat from the porridge. So just stir it around until the coconut cream eventually uh, melts down completely and everything is sort of mixed together. It will also thicken up as well once it kind of cools down. I find because it's still a little bit warm, it does sort of keep uh, cooking a little bit because you may find it gets a little bit more liquidy, but uh, yeah, like I said, it'll firm up once it's sort of cooled off. All right, I'm gonna try a bite. Mmm, perfect. Again, tastes sweet, but isn't, and has all the anti-candida fighting properties. All right, so I'm gonna dish these out into six glass containers and then let them cool on the counter. So once they're sort of down to room temperature, you can close them off and freeze them in the freezer and basically take them out as needed. All right, thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video.